So uh, it's Wednesday, 1022. We get those numbers in about eight minutes. There's our crude oil chart. We're trading at 64.33. To jump around here to see what kind of action we have, we'll start it off with the 11 AMs. So the 11 AMs have 64.25 as a price point where you can get an exposure upward, downward. Not bad, Not bad right? Close, yeah. Yep. You're only eight pennies away. Uh, the bullish spread would be the one that has some intrinsic value because you're eight pennies above. You're looking at about 20 bucks on the bullish side. Your bearish spread is going to be the same thing minus the intrinsic value, right? So about $11, $12, 11 bucks, 31, so 31, three, uh, 31 cents yeah. away from 64.25, and those are 11 amps. So you're only going to have a half hour after we get that news. Jump in to see where the, the noons line up. Okay, exact same, pr uh, no, wait, I had 64.25, right? 63, all right, so 64.50. Yeah, okay. different level. I, I okay. thought it was 65, 25. 64, 25 was what we're using. Now, this is a great example with, okay, we just did the 11 a.m. The 11 a.m. has exposure from 64, 25. You'd have a little bit of a bullish head start. What yeah. if you said, you know what? We're at like this 65 level. I'd rather have like a little bit of a bearish head start. Maybe it won't get above this 65 level. Well, there you go. Now you have 64, 50, where instead of having on the other side, now Eight you get... positive, you get uh, yeah. 18 negative. Exactly. Right. Um, so... This is going to be your bullish spread, which is completely out of the money now, the cheap one. So about 12 bucks. And on the bearish spread, that one's going to be the intrinsic value. $40 instead of 31. Okay. But again, and this that's one... that's away from 50, right? Yes. Yeah. So 40 cents away from 64.50 becomes your break even. And let's see how the dailies... Okay. Well, that's nice. And the, the 230s, these line up the exact same way. 64.50. That would be the bullish spread. And I always like to see, so you can see the market. Not that big of a difference, right? right? Number one, this one's till noon. This one's till 2.30. And you also have exposure to 67.50. And you're only paying, look at that, two ticks, three ticks, right? Difference, not bad for that extra hour. So there's your bullish one. Going to be about 15. Close this out, your bearish one. Going to be about 30. So 45. So it went 30 bucks basically at 11, right? 40 at noon and uh, 45 at 2.30. Um, take a look at this. So, I... It seems like in recent weeks, just as you pull it up, we've gotten huge misses where you could have seen the price plummet, right? No. We had a build of 7 million barrels maybe last week. Um, I don't even think the estimate was that much of an increase, if not a decline. It, it wasn't. It yeah. didn't move. And, um, and we still go higher. Yeah. So like out here this morning, that's the that's the first down one. Interesting, man. Okay, so that's down to yep. Yeah. Well, guess what? You know what I are mean, we doing? <laughs> I think it's going to go south, man. South. You, you know, it's interesting here, yep. and this is wicked, folks, because they when, when you take a look at this, and it, you know, it's pushed high with volumes. You can you can see this volume right behind it. You know, that's the good volume here those last few days, yes. right? Now that being said, now watch this when I break this down intraday, and you're going to see that your two cells, you know, really down. You know, let's say that's what I'm looking at. Sure. Like, yep. You know, the sell down yesterday at 940, you had another yep. one with volume, and then this little one right here. You know, so it's like, okay, yeah. that looks to me like that's where I would like to go first. So that's going to be intriguing, too, because what we, ha what we do have here is that the oil market has been going right along with the S&P. I mean, okay. you know, we look at that, they're both oh, December sure. 24th Quite lows. a turnaround, yeah, from you know, Christmas both, Eve lows. They're both up at highs right now. Yep. Um, you know, they're moving together. We're complaining about the price of gasoline. Yeah. <laughs> and just bring it up, if you just wanted to go bearish, right? I mean, there's still great trades, man. We always look at both sides. But here's one, you get the market trading at 64.37. Yeah. You're selling at 15 pennies below the market, all right? That's yeah. the, the sacrifice you make. But your losses are capped at 64.50. And you're putting up 20 bucks, and you have exposure all the way down to 61.50. Cool. Not bad with those numbers no, coming, that's... and that's until 2.30. Yeah. Right? yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 12, down 33, rather. NASDAQ is up 19. S&Ps are up 2. Come right back. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so, crude crude inventories rose 7.03 million barrels. That's right. So, we had at least the Bloomberg user survey looking for a gain of 3.2. Definitely above that level, jumping back to the chart. The initial, initial thrust, you would think, negative action, but still 
just like we're talking about, right? It seems like every week yeah. there's been more of a bill than they think that should cause prices to pull back. You have and more supply yeah. and basically a non-reaction in terms of sitting at 6431. We were sitting at 6431 right as we were coming into this number. Right. Um, see what happens. They're going to come up with a lot of numbers. Gas inventory is falling, 7.71. So they were talking about this as well. I'm going to scroll down a bit, right, because I was mentioning that in part of the... Uh, they give you kind of a what to watch for here. Uh, crude unit outages at refineries. Now, this is the head of the number, right? Yeah. Just talking about our still trending high. Last week, we saw 1.5 million barrels a day offline. Talking about refineries. That's a bullish signal for right. gasoline. And uh, that number kind of reiter reiterating that news, yes. right? You have a huge... Uh, inventory fall of 7.71 for that gas market. Crude oil, crude oil inventory is rising 7.03. Yeah. Well, we'll put that back up and let's just check back to the price one more time. Oh, we're going <laughs> higher, baby. We're going higher. Look at that. It's got to be tough if you're a short there. And uh, that's yeah. why it's nice even some of those trades, right? You lost the cap to 64.50. Right oh, it's up huge, here. man. Not bad, yeah, yeah. because Define this market risk. is crazy when, yeah. you know, you can, you can be trading an inventory number. The estimate on Bloomberg's Three million barrels. Uh, we'll pull up the median analyst estimate as it pops up there. Nonetheless, seven million barrel build. Right. And the market's like we're trading higher, man. Right. And yeah. as one of the targets saying there, you know what? We use gasoline. We don't use crude. <laughs> gasoline <laughs> uses crude, to be fair, but that's what. Oh yeah, matters. but yeah. it's still a crack. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, You know, so there's, oh, there's for a sure. lot more in, inside that barrel than. Gasoline. Oh, for you sure. Know, the plastic market. There's a oh, lot of different markets. That's the refinery. Hey, the refineries are offline, man. No, no gas is getting made from that crude. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so we get a little action in this oil market. We sure do, man. These are five-minute bars we're looking at. Just making sure they show sure us. So 10:40 a.m. Ten minutes to digest that news, right? Yeah. We trade from 64.40 down to 64.06. Now sitting at 64.10. Uh, we'll see what happens. We got a lot of time left in the day, not even 11 a.m. yet, and it looks like that inventory, as in quite a build, 7 million plus barrels, maybe weighing on that price a bit for the first time in a while. And we were looking at the 6425s and 6450s. Right? Correct, yeah. The 6450s right. were the ones we looked at more often. As, they were the bearish ones. Uh, yeah, yeah, and the 11 a.m.s are the ones that had your 6425 as your price point. Right. The noons and the 230s were going to have 6450 as your price point. See what happens.